Yeah, welcome back PTSD, it's your boy LC. It's your boy Kama. Right, so this is podcast, what is this to be, episode two? Episode two. Episode two. Of right, this, this is about HBCU life. Um, y'all gave us some suggestions of things y'all wanted us to talk about, so we're going to talk about HBCU life. Uh, they've been here longer than me, so I'm letting them start and thing. <laughs> now, the first podcast, that was a year ago. Yeah, <laughs> a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. we had y'all on my podcast channel, we y'all on the main channel. We think we know how it was gonna do. Yeah. But like it did good. Yeah. We would try to like, you know what I'm saying, have podcasts with other yeah. awards if we could, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever, or anything. You know what I'm saying? But we like we said, like nobody on our campus uh, like even our own family members don't even know we do YouTube. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause we just wanted it to be organic and then mm-hmm. feel like growing its own and growing its own. Yeah. yeah. Most so, nobody be like, check out our YouTube channel. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. do that. yeah like even even if y'all follow us on Instagram, all of us don't even post. Yeah, y'all can see. Yeah, I ain't yeah, posted in like yeah. two years <laughs> on Instagram. The only time I post is like when it's, I repost somebody's shit, it's like it's their birthday or song, uh-huh. and they like my brother's song, but I don't know. Yeah, I ain't got Instagram no more. Yeah, I be the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, then, then. Really ain't got no social media for real. Yeah. I think I'm the most active now, which is crazy because I didn't used to be the most active. Mm-hmm. But I. Sure, but uh, HBCU, like, it's cool. I mean, it's chill. It's depending. Take a tour of your school because you really don't know what you're going to expect. I came here strictly off the word of family members and Kai. That's, and I ain't, I ain't taking a tour or nothing. I was on Google <laughs> and just looking at the pictures they had on Google and Google Live. Because I'm talking about it, it was in 4K, sunny, grass was green. I said, oh, this looks like some shit out of the movie. Bro, I came here, bro. <laughs> like the the drive here, it just got like worse and worse. Like, yeah, stuff, yeah. stuff got older and older, and I was like, "What the fuck did I get myself into?" Bro? Tight shit. And I remember, like, we stopped at like the the town closest to the school, and like just seeing the town and the people, I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, just seeing the town and the people, bro. I was, I was like, "Nah, this ain't gonna be the move for me." I said, no way I'm spending four years here, bro. Mm-hmm. And when I got on campus, bro, it was like, oh, they was like, wait till you meet the people, wait till you meet the students, bro. And cause that like that's what they preached to me, like when I was coming up here, cause I like came up here cause uh my guy that was able to get me in, like easy. Mm-hmm. Cause like I had applied too late to go to like FAMU. Florida State and all them other schools. Cause I, I graduated high school with a 5.1 GPA. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had a, I was a really good student, I would say. But mm-hmm. um, but I just didn't apply. And so like, I applied to get in the school, like June. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody else applied, you know what I'm saying? September, October, at the beginning of school. That's like the people, all the people who got into the school applied that early. I applied like when we was graduating. Cause I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I really didn't want to go to school, but it just wasn't like the workforce just wasn't for me either. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if I wanted to do yeah. something, I want to do something lucrative. Like if I would've went to trade school, that would've been cool. Or like CDL or something, that would've been cool too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But college was just my best route. Yeah. And so I had took a gap year. That's like when you take a year off from school. Mm-hmm. And then I had came here. Cause I had like applied and I got in and then I just had to do everything and then I just had to wait basically a year. I just worked and chill. Yeah, I hate you know school, saying? bro. I, I only like school when it was like electives and like the fun shit in school, bro. I have a learning spirit, but I don't like learning in school, if that right. makes sense, bro. If I, man, if I ain't coming to school, bro, because this was my last option. I'm talking about this school. I had, I didn't do it because I did. I had learned from his mistake. I applied to a lot of schools. I had gotten to so many schools. But the scholarships that I was offered, because I had gotten to hella private schools and stuff, the scholarship that you get offered, it'd it be like, oh, this is a lot of money. But then you look at the tuition, tuition that you'd have to pay. Even after the scholarship, and I'm talking about, Man, I'm it was talking a about lot of money. I was like, what the You was fuck? getting good scholarships, too. I'm talking about 25K a semester scholarships, but yeah. the school tuition per year costs like 70K. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 25K to 70K don't do nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't offset yeah. well. And that's like the best scholarship they could give 
Yeah. Tell a student friend unless you get like a full ride, for yeah. real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they not all 25k a semester. It was like five thousand a semester or 25k yearly. Right. Yeah, it was oh, like, so that's right. I mean that's like twelve point five, twelve point five k semester then. Oh yeah. Yeah. But that, that still ain't add up, bro. Yeah, it wasn't. And I, I wanted to go to the community college, bro. But like, my family suggested me getting away. I had a toxic relationship, and me and this girl was just causing causing each other problems, bro. And then I ended up getting away from the girl and like meeting another girl. And I would have by that time I already decided like I was coming here for school, and like she just encouraged me to go and, and help that process run over smoother. But but I promise if I wasn't in that situation, bro. With that Tasha relationship, bro, I probably would not have been here, and I probably would have had a way better decision. Cause if I could start my life over, bro, I would have been in kindergarten, like trying to find like what I was passionate about or what I felt like, as far as like in the work life, what I felt like was my purpose mm-hmm. or something that was purposeful to me. But because I'm just a hustler, bro. Like something that could have applied with me, bro. I could have just been a barber for real. Or a tattoo artist or some shit, just some creative, bro. Yeah, I mean, but, business, uh, a, bit, a trade school to work for me. At five years old, uh, though, your mind so eight, yeah. You, yeah, know, you, 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 you want to do everything. Yeah, you feel me? So it's like you, you not gonna know what you really want to do because then you seven, you gonna want to do something else. You ten, you gonna want to do mm-hmm. something else. Yeah. You thirteen, you gonna do something else because your mind growing with your body. Mm-hmm. Older you get, the more you know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because experience is the best teacher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With age come wisdom sometimes. You feel me? It, but really, with experience come wisdom, and through your experiences, you learn what you want to do, and through the things that you try, you learn what you like and what you don't like. Same thing like with yeah. food and anything. You gotta try it before you can say, "Oh yeah, I enjoy this." Can't say you enjoy something you never did. You feel me? Yeah. You can enjoy watching something you never did. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? You like to watch. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, man, I feel man, like. We, you had to be a genius at five years old. Of, not, of I'm not line. saying like, that. Yeah. I'm saying like our family didn't tell us. Like they told us it was it was like straightforward. It was like go to school, get a degree, you you're mm-hmm. gonna be set for life. Like I'm everybody gonna... had that set in the plan, and that's that's part of like one of the reasons me and you even came to school because that's what they put into us. Like why are we in the school? Oh, because you're gonna get a degree. And this gonna happen. But that's all they knew. That's all they knew. That's but, all they and then talk. the time changing, so the degrees became so average. Yeah, you, that can't, you like, can't really blame people for what they because in their life a mm-hmm. degree and the job was good. Yeah, you know what I'm back time in the day, changing. like when we was born, I wish we was like born. 1980 could we could have bought a house in 2002 for way cheaper yeah you know what i'm saying we could have had two three cars you know what i'm saying but we got the mindset we had now we could have had four five businesses yeah you feel me leveraging all of that shit now you know what i'm saying because the money would increase now Mm -hmm. you know if you own your shit you making you hella lucrative nowadays it's hard to start up you know what i'm saying but if you in the game already bro it's like so much money moves to be made and power moves you feel me and it's just like you know what i'm saying what they knew, because most of our grandparents ain't go to school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's Jim Crow time and shit like that. Yeah. For our grandparents, you feel me? And then, so they taught their kids to go to school, and that's what our aunts and our mom and our dad know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because really, they was me. the first generation. Yeah. Man, low key, we still the first generation. Because you know on our dad's side, me and Kyle, like, the first ones that's going to graduate college. Mm. Like, you know that's man. crazy to even think about, because. I don't know how many people don't raise us on that side alone. And like that. Yeah, high school graduation is an accomplishment. One thing I will say though, because you're not wrong. It's like, because that's why I was saying trade school shit. You know what I'm saying? We probably talking about HBC, like, we don't got all the way out. But I made so much you were talking about. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, most people, the people I know that make a lot of money now, like, ain't even have to graduate college. Mm-hmm. Or like, the people who make a lot of money at our age, no college, you know what I'm saying? Like the, all the cousins who was raising us and telling us to stay in school, but they was hustling in other ways and avenues. You know what I'm saying? They like our big brothers and they make six figures and you know what I'm saying? They don't, they ain't graduate college. You feel me? So it's just, you know what I'm saying? So if you go to college for the plan, yeah, you could you can make a million dollars. You feel me? You get hired by the right company. You going for the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I major computer science. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard to com- like compete 
You know what I'm saying? Especially like going to HBCU mm. back to that time because it's like at the PWIs they getting their students internships yeah. they freshman year. Yeah. At HBCU you wait until your junior year, your senior year to get an internship. And, like, you got help with so, Charlie. Got, got help. You know what I'm saying? Like, our career fairs is different. Our programs is different because they even have a program where it's like for the students who don't get an internship, they could go study at different universities over the summer and get paid. Hey, yeah. So it's like but at PWIs. Yeah, you know but they saying? and they for our school they only have it for the agricultural program. That's it. Because you know, this agricultural, agricultural school. school you know that's crazy that you all these programs you only got it for one program. You know but that's that's the HBCU life that's, thing. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Saying? And that's not the not HBCUs. It's just like it's just, that's just reality. We just behind. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like we don't got as much money. We don't. Like, we don't. I, I was just telling them boys today, like our school president not making as much as uh, old Miss school president. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, and I bet it's a big like pay gap. You feel mm -hmm. me? I bet it's tremendous. Like it won't even look realistic. You be like damn. And our our president probably do more. You know what I'm saying? Our yeah. president do do a lot. Yeah, you feel so me? It's like, a lot of the people at this school, they probably don't even know the president. Right. We see our president everywhere. Yeah, and the everybody cow. Know him, like, you know what I'm saying? He speaks to everybody. Bro. Everybody. So and he helped like, you out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? He he helped, he done helped us out in a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we know him on a personal level. He like, I don't know, for real. So, yeah. but yeah, so. That's just what it is, bro. Like, that's just what it is. And then they be trying to get, I don't know, like, they don't, I think they done tried to shut our school down twice since I've been here, and it's only my third year. And they done had to try to pass a law two, twice already to try to get our school shut down and get it overrun by a PWI. Not to get it overrun, they but, want all the funding yeah, well, to be to taken take away from, from, like, from the HTUs in Mississippi, yeah. in particular, like Jackson State, Valley, and Alcorn, and yeah. they want to go to Ole Miss and Mississippi State and USM, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All the other PWIs, they think like, the funding to be better spent there than uh -huh. here. And they get billions of dollars a year already. And they trying to get the love yeah. shit that we we barely get. You know what I'm saying? To help our school type shit. Yeah, the living you know situations. <clears throat> but that's like that's like a sense of audacity to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you gotta you gotta be real like greedy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the living situation is different. It's not what you expect. I mean, y'all see the ball field be thinking we in a prison cell. Like, no, we in college. <laughs> we we have to make our life better. Like, we got a plan, you feel me? We intelligent. And we, we not in no prison cell, bro. And people, the fact that this really is what it looked like. If y'all was to even... Like this is the our rooms look nice. Like I'm talking about like, like people, the top two. Like people if we open the door and like speak to people in the hallway when they walk by, they be like, Oh, that shit look like the motherfucking Marriott. Like we be like, What? Like yeah. all we did was clean it up and make it look the best we can. Yeah, we, and people come by, like the RAs come by, they be like, Y'all have the nicest floor, the nicest room in the building, like the whole building. Yeah. We be like, We just put some posters up, put some carpets yeah. down. And, and cleaned it up, you feel me? Because we don't come from dirty shit. homes. People may see our YouTube and be like, oh, they dirty. And like, no, no, we're not. No, the <laughs> fuck, we're not. We're germaphobic. And, and that's what I be saying, because a lot of people be like, damn, like, we're from the hood, so we ain't clean. The hood, me and bro from? Yeah, we clean. clean. We clean. <laughs> yeah, they we put clean. Put another ass you wasn't yeah. cleaning. And we still yeah. had our ways, you know like, what I'm saying? But like, it's just like, we came we saw, clean. Man, we, uh, aunt was in the house. It was a problem. Like, our family ain't play that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they can't well, we, more, the only time, but. like, for the most part, the only time we seen roaches was at a family friend house. It wasn't family. You, you know feel me? Saying? It wasn't. Like, you go visit somebody, like, probably, like, our dad friend from, like, oh, this is my friend from, like, middle school. Go see how they doing. You feel me? And they, they everybody not clean. Everybody that you meet, that's your, your parents' friend, not going to be clean. But I should be clean. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So. And like, you, you walk in. You like you know what I'm saying? You go to one of our aunt's house. Yeah. You be like, oh nah, ain't no way. You go on the inside, like the outside. You go like, damn, the outside look crazy. For you go on the inside, you gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah. And that's how I look for like outside looking in for them, cause it's like everybody else room look. Majority of the people room at the building look crazy. So crazy. when they see this shit, they be like, oh yeah. damn, like I'm talking clothes. It's like on night the floor, and day. You feel me? Clothes on the floor. If y'all see us in the vids like swinging at bugs, the bugs ain't in our room cause it's dirty. It's cause we, like if we open the door, everybody else room so dirty they fly in here. Like and they like it's a bunch of food and like trash in the hallway. Yeah, shit, like it's that. like it really looked like a prison. Like 
The stair, the stairwell. I ain't even gonna call it like the projects to me. Well, well, we well, we yeah, got the buzz like, zapping in the like room. Hood, That's what yeah. we be hoping like. They do look like the projects. They they call our building the hood size of the school. So yeah, cause like we like I'm cause the schools ain't bad for real. No, the schools not bad. I I think cause hearing stories of like friends and family that go to PWIs and other HBCUs, we got good teachers here for for. My program, I can speak personally. I don't know about Breezy program, but we we got some good teachers, some good teachers. Yeah, well, I got, we got some. Yeah, and certain and certain like advisors and things like it's some stuff in school. I'm like, dang, like that's a blessing that we have that here and the that you know the people are here that who do care about their jobs. I know everywhere people struggle with it, the financial aid people, and you know it's just some people who don't care about their job and they just give you a hard time with your paperwork. But the people who do like. Do they job right here? Like they is a blessing for real. Like, cause, cause college not easy, bro. Like my aunt tell us all the time. Like, like every time me and Kai complain to her about school, she's like, college is nothing but red tape. That that's the best way to explain it. Cause we have family members that's what the PWIs. That really like, no that's what the PWIs and HBCUs. And they says nothing but red tape to say like college is for to see if you could get through the BS. That's why. Parents send their kids school abroad to see like if you could deal with this, you'll be able to handle life. Mm -hmm. Cause like they send you here, it ain't it ain't as much help, it ain't it. You feel me? You gotta figure out your own food, your own situation, dry yourself to the stove, handle your budget and stuff like that. There ain't no mommy and daddy ain't holding your hand, you feel me? They ain't checking your grades all the time. You gotta handle that. Wake up for class, you gotta handle that. So let me say what you about to say. It was supposed to be like, cause that was different stuff as hell. You can't keep cutting me off, bro. But you know what I'm saying? But I was gonna say, just to piggyback off of that, bro, it's like, like red tape not being like bad thing, it's just a life lesson. Okay. Like, that's all I was trying to say, bro. Bro, don't stop my shit. I'm about to eat your kid. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything you gotta say about your experience, Breezy? I was waiting for my turn. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's really y'all show for real. I'm just here. Yeah. I be having a lot to say about school. Uh, first start start off, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to go to college. I didn't, you know. Before I graduate high school, I'm thinking I'm going to have Mercedes GLE, all types of shit. I'm thinking I'm going to come up with a play, come up with a plan, song, so I ain't got to go. It didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It didn't happen. But uh, I uh, really came to Alcorn last minute. Last minute, because it was going to be Mississippi State or LSU. Uh, I think I came here because really try to sports really for sports i tried to get on the other sports teams but it was like on some other stuff so it was like my best option but you know i think i really just got put here just for to meet people really i ain't come here it wouldn't be no ptsd you're right <laughs> right but yeah. yeah i think the best thing about hbcu is the teachers honestly mm -hmm. i wouldn't say the admissions none of them because they barely answer the phone they got attitudes. I'll be like, God damn, man. I'm just trying to get this settled. And they, you know what I'm saying? They got nasty attitudes, man. So if you go to HBCU, just be patient and just pray. Pray, man. You know? The food is nothing new, you know what I'm saying? You going to get like, like same thing every week. Every Wednesday, fried chicken. Every Friday, fish. Um, on time, the food change when it's like, Game day, our rival, uh, Jackson State. That's when the shelves they battle or some shit like that. Yeah, but it really don't even be good food for real. But nice some events and shit. I think the best food here is like the ones like the cookouts that like uh, the RVs. Oh, the tailgate. Yeah, tailgate. Yeah, tailgate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tailgate. That'd be like the best food for real. We be come back with like three plus plates, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, yeah. I, hey, to say, piggyback on what Breezy said, bro, I thought I was going to have a plan, too. I'm talking about, I didn't, I decided I was really? going to college like three weeks yeah. out or like a month out. And I was like, Lord, bro, I can't believe, like, I made this decision. I was, I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to major in. I, was like, I don't know if I'm going to be there four years from now, because I, boy, Man, my senior year, I thought I was going to have made. All my friends had cars, and I was the last one to get a car. And I was a car guy. All my friends had, they shit was lowered. They had coilovers, exhaust, like interior done. Like shit was nice. Like getting about to get a second car. And they had been working since 
we came into high school, my friends had jobs and like had a situation where like family members didn't want me to work and you know get my own money, which was not for step family members. So and you feel me? I thought I was gonna have it made too, bro. I thought I was gonna have like two cars. I thought my first year out of high school, bro, I thought nigga was gonna be balling. I thought I was gonna be somewhat motivational, like, you don't need college, bro. For real. And, and it really ain't happening, bro. I was, a nigga was, I was talking about, man, y'all should have seen, like, my shopping cart, bro, and the plans I had, bro. I thought, I thought, nigga, uh, I thought, like, my second year out of high school, I was gonna be looking at apartments. Yeah, like. Man. Man, I thought I was gonna be living like one of them YouTubers, bro. I just thought I was like, man, God, go make a way. Like I'm too creative. I'm too good at so many things to to just box myself in with this degree. You feel I me? I even wrote out my plan. It's still in my notes. Yeah. In my phone, like I got like seven. I got it. Like, I got I got like three different journals. I'll be rereading what like I, the old me was saying. My like, boy ambitious, but like still ambitious like that. Yeah. But added more to it. But I was like, damn, like. From youngin' like this plotting on this, you know what I'm saying? So but for like all this, like everything sound done, like the one thing I like take away from like this experience is like people that I met for sure. And then like the things I learned more about myself by like coming way out here, you know what I'm saying, to an HBCU that's in the middle of nowhere, you know what I'm saying, with like a lot of limit and limited things to do and everything, like limited assets I would say. And uh but another thing I took away is like every time we go back, like especially on our pop side of the family, is like all our like little cousins look up to us. Like how we used to look up to all the cousins who didn't go to college and they still making bread. You know what I'm saying? Like all our little cousins look up to us. It's like kind of like a generational like change. Look, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like damn, like kind of see doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like them boys, like for real, like you know what I'm saying? Them boys. Think just like us, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You think we uncles or something. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. when we go home, bro. Like we about to go home, bro. And I'm just like, I'm getting my outfits ready. Come like, dang, my cousins gonna see me and they think so highly of me. Like they think I put on a regular hoodie. They think I'm so cool. Mm -hmm. And like that's something like that that sparked life into you. Like dang, like if I'm not doing it for me, like I'm being a good influence for them. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. I'm not out here just. You know what I'm saying? Running my life into the ground. They they think of college and they thinking of, like, I done made it into, like, high school musical or some shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, they, because they, all they know is the, the movies. They don't even know, like, they, they probably see, like, the outside of a campus, but, like, they probably be back home, like, drive past USF or some big college campus, but, like, they ain't cuz out there doing it. You feel me? So it's like, you never know. Or they, like, in school, when teachers ask, you know, in elementary school, teachers ask you questions like, who has a family member in college? They be like, oh, my cousin LC, and he do this, and he got this, and you feel me? Like, they thank you like that. Like, they gonna speak about you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to college because my cousin in college, bro. Like, stuff like that is important, so. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. mm -hmm. you never know who watching you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, in a positive way, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people going, everybody, it's easy to see. Somebody negatives, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when somebody see like that good in you, you know what I'm saying? That's like how they view you, you know what I'm saying? You just try to, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you leaving that that impact on them, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cause, um, yeah. but I was about to say, if so, we not knocking college, but if you do go, go with plan. If you go to trade school, go with plan. All right, now that we done got a lot of the cons out the way, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like financial aid oh the thing with financial aid and admissions and stuff i think they be so mad because they talk to so many people yes on the phone you, yeah. so they just get aggravated mm -hmm. i think it just be building up you know what i'm saying so if you like that that late call you know what i'm saying they probably i think you gotta get them like in a the sweet spot like afternoon if you mm -hmm. early morning and you like late afternoon before they get off they go, probably gonna be fed up mm -hmm. but if you get them like 12 one o'clock you might be in good hands mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying all state but uh, <laughs> but uh, what I was gonna say uh, but we can talk about the pros at HBCU. One pro is if you if you are black and you are attracted to black people, it's plenty. It's plenty. It's plenty. Everybody. I will say this is doing everybody unless yes. you like us. And like like unless you put up for real. Cause if you ain't put up, you outside. Yeah. College is, uh, college is like a war chief, but it's not like that for everybody. For the party people and people that's in the party life, because it's people who party year-round. It ain't no one. It's people who go to one party a year, and it's people who go to par every party. 
Like, you don't know where they find the money, but they there <laughs> twice a week paying to get in VIP. Like, like what? Like, they wear the same outfit every day. How they end the party every week? And that's just that's just what it is. But uh, I say the pros, the the people, cause man, I'm talking about my network done expanded. Like as far as like school and campus goes, for like most situations, I know somebody to call or know where to go to deal with something. Or if not, man, just the uh, my, my friends, my brothers, for real, mainly because that's I don't really deal with a lot of people on campus, but my brothers help me me through a lot. If I have these two niggas with me and my other brothers, bro, college will not be what it is for real. So, you, you when they say you really find your lifelong friends and stuff at college, it was not lie, boy. Like my boys could call me, like they need help in Jamaica, nigga. I'm looking at flights. You feel me? Because we done been through it, bro. Like so car broke two. down. Food, name it, bro. Like, <laughs> laundry detergent, name it, bro. Like, pull up. You you gonna find who real for real? Yeah, so, man. Yeah, college is gonna. Be, you go. You don't go through it, but you go through it. Like it's like you become an adult for real. Yeah, and mm. thing about college too. Like my freshman year, like I went to a lot of parties and shit. But that was after I made friends and shit. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Cause you know. I, I was like, I'm always like a, a like a popular loner, you know what I'm saying? Like people be knowing my name and shit. Well, really back home, not uh, here too much, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? My face be looking familiar, I guess. If people be paying attention to us as a group, you know what I'm saying? As a whole, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's like, man, before I met like Breezy and all them boys, I was like to myself in the room type shit, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't getting out like that or nothing. And I be on the phone with bro, I be like, man, yeah, this shit ain't nothing for real. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was shit. so I used to be so happy to talk to Kai, ask him about like college. I'm mean, like, his whole first month, like I was just having him like, who'd you meet? Like, what is it like? And it was just like the answers was dull. Like <laughs> and that when I came out here I finally understood. My first my first probably two months was nothing exciting. But the thing is though, it's like the thing I'm going to say about college, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean to offend nobody because I know it's a, it's a, it's going to be a, hit, a big target audience. People come to college and they get freedom for the first time. Yeah. We grew up fast yeah. in this room. So parties and shit and clubs and shit and having women and shit, I did all that. Yeah. Junior, like I'm talking about yeah. middle school or high school, elementary. Yeah, I was, elementary you know, man, what I, mean? I, I could have had a girlfriend. Yeah, don't matter. Yeah, I, I talked to whatever girl I, I wanted. Want to. I went everywhere. When I, wanted I was to, I like, was nine years old talking to whatever girl yeah, I wanted to. to. Like, you know what I'm saying? I man, I don't grab teenage girls like I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do nothing for no sixteen year old girl, but I'm I'm gonna let her know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's just what it was like sports and shit, like all that. So it's like and like. You know what I'm saying? It's no shame yeah, for certain yeah. people. You know what I'm no saying? No shame. Nobody know them out here. They gonna act the fool. I'm talking about like, cause our freshman year, it was a shorty who came in and she got 18 bodies in one month. That's now nah, that's an insane feat. That? Like the the one that who had the uh, blue hair freshman year, the braids, who I had niggas to talk about, and they were passing sort of around. Dang, what's the first list? I don't even know sort of name, bro. It was well, that's like <laughs> four, three, four years ago. That's like three and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah, sure. bro. Dang, you ain't know, bro. I don't know. Damn, bro, I can't really. Are oh, you the one shorty that was sleeping in everybody's room? She wasn't doing nothing, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> 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 no, that ain't talking about. But oh, it's just be certain stuff, bro. <laughs> it's just be certain but it's like things, bro. people get here, like when you. Like, when your only, like, parent is time sometimes, because I be telling them, boy, sometimes our only father is time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, with time, we learn more. You know what I'm saying? Because I be our mistakes. father sometimes, learning from our own mistakes. Yeah. Some people come out here, you know what I'm saying? They don't got mama and daddy over them. Like, my mama would pass away when I was four years old. Yeah. So only my mom knows is, like, my best sister. You know what I'm saying? Them, yeah, and see, we, like, basically moved out from our pots with our, our uncle type shit. You know what I'm saying? But based on the situation that, you know what I'm saying, we had going on, and Pop still like our, he said our Pops, he taught us a lot about being a man and that thing, but it was a lot of experiences that me and C went through for the first time, so like, 
our own because Pops ain't go through a lot of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, Pops went to federal college. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's prison. You feel me? So it's like, that's the that's the college he know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he can't tell us about this college because he was, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of situations, you know what I'm saying? But he, we, he always, like, gave us guidance, you know what I'm saying, on things. Even, like, if he had like similar situations to what we was going through and things like that, you feel me? So it was like a lot of people ain't have to raise cause I had to be a big brother early, you know what I'm saying? Like for a bro, you know what I'm saying? Like I was raising bro, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog, you feel me? So um I had to like we had to grow up fast. Yeah. There ain't no really no easy way to say it. It's a lot of situations I can speak about, but we just had to live it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Oh, you think you're going? oh, but people, so people come up to, they ain't have to live life on their own. And so they going to try things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they going to be virgins and then, you know what I'm saying? They going to, hey, that's bad. So everybody, they going to do what they got to do or whatever and shit like that. Or they going to drink a lot. They going to smoke a lot because they don't got no self control. They don't got no discipline. You know what yeah. Cause they, and cause they, they got freedom. And you know a lot of people don't want to handle all of that. Mm -hmm. It's like. Sometimes they get freedom like a person winning the lottery. Because now you're responsible of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You come out here. Like, it's some people first time being responsible for themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to watch out for that. I ain't you know a lot. Like, shit, come here. Was, this was really my freedom. Is it freedom? In my state. For real. Uh -huh. That's shit. Growing up, my mom wouldn't let me go nowhere for real. Oh, dang. But, like, sports stuff, like, I could do all that. But, like, parties and stuff. Oh, dang. <laughs> Wasn't going for real. We was already doing all that. Yeah. I was, we was allowed to do that. When but we thank you, like, I'm not even really a party person. I don't like parties. Yeah, I don't like parties. <laughs> so it really didn't really thing. bother me for real. It just bothered me because, like, friends would be like, come on now, bro, you lame. We'll do I'd be like, shit, I can't. You know, so I'm glad I think the that I wasn't able to, you know, go mm -hmm. out because it probably would took somebody home. I don't know. And you know, they fighting, yeah. shoot out but some just shit. Just dang, though, like. You know what I'm saying? Thankful that my mom killed me in the crib. <laughs> yeah, but. I don't know. Rizzo had morals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was like raised right for real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It just really depend on like how you were raised. Raised, you know what I'm saying? Your environment. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like. I don't want them play. Right. You know what I'm saying? Our pops ain't play, you feel me? Yeah. But it's like. Because Auntie ain't play neither, but Auntie, we was allowed to go to parties and stuff. That too. Mm -hmm. It was just like, as we got older, we got more privileges. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. So, but with our dad, we was about to do everything. Like, like <laughs> nigga, I, I was going, I was showing up to church, 13, 14 hickeys on my neck, my face, oh, no. like, <laughs> singing in church. And the whole, the whole church knew. <laughs> they didn't shake their head. It wasn't no shame. Yeah, like, what that is? I'm like, oh, hickey? Like, yeah. <laughs> like my dad, picked, my dad dropped me off and picked me up. Yeah. Move, picked me up. How was the moving? I said that was good. You see me? He's like, dang! Oh, like, I, I had hickeys on my face, bro. Like for real, like, I, I was living. I, I was living, bro. I, I was, man. I, well, I appreciate our pop cut. Like he'll he'll drop you out to though. I'm yeah. going to the bitch's crib and all. Man, I was, yeah, pop picked me up like 11, 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I'm doing nigga, I was hopping the fence. Yeah. I mean, I'm in girls oh, crib. Yeah. They yeah. room right next to their parents. He dropped us off the hot fence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I hopped the fence in the white horses. No cow. No, no. creeks, no dirt, no nothing. I was fed. <laughs> Over that bitch. Like, for real, bro. But that's why, cause like, when we was six, seven years old, our older cousins had us hopping concrete walls. Oh, cr but, and that's I'm talking about we in a like we in the jet. I'm talking about. Hood, hood. We go to the corner store runs, we hopping big ass. Big ass like, runs. Like, like, like hey, step we, up, cuz he yeah. pushing you up that moment. You know? <laughs> like, like we, video games. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> like we, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. Like we we had a childhood. We was outside. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Was like was like crazy. Yeah, yeah. man. I'm a I'm a cop, little league football coach. Killed somebody right at the practice field. Oh, now he's still out there to this day. He's still out to this day. He was yeah, a hell of a father man, too. Me and Kyle mm -hmm. seen dudes. We was like five years old watching dudes get stabbed to death. Like they, he didn't, didn't die, but he should have. This one dude. There's one dude. Yeah, he, and he came back. Yeah, scarred up. Yeah. God, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Something like, like that, like, and that traumatized us. Like, stuff like you, that you traumatized you a dude who, like, you know what I'm saying? The the dude who was, 
You know what I'm saying? Doing what he was doing to the dude who should have. GTA. Yeah. GTA. 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 Really, GTA. You had you had shit like these people like they not bro in the streets. They not playing. Yeah, they bro like was not like saying no. Every word he said to bro was I'm gone. Kill you. you. That's For it. Real. Yeah, in GTA, yeah. In GTA, yeah. That was like what he was saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? GTA. Like, like, bro, had a bounty. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That was it. You right. feel me? But it's just life, bro. And everybody has different experiences. But, you know, I, I'm thankful for all the experiences that I got to experience. And all the people I get to experience and embrace and conversate with. But, yeah, bro, like I was saying, bro, just make a plan. Because they tell you make a plan, and you going to make a plan, and that plan ain't a plan enough. <laughs> Cause I'm talking about you need that bed A to Z, every possible way. Like if you and plan for if you rich in college, broke in college, like everything. Like where you gonna do this? Where you gonna do that? Where you gonna shop? What you gonna get if you do go shopping? Your budget. Like plan all of that. If your mom or your dad don't help you, if you ain't got no no allowance, like, no scholarships come in. What you gonna do? Like. Plan for that. And if you don't go, if you go to trade school, plan where you, where your career going to go, where you, what you're looking into. Yeah. You feel another me? thing important, bro. Plan if your school going to got enough housing and you need to like, because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, Alcorn don't really got that problem, I believe, but it's a lot of schools that do. And like, my yeah, but like you know what I'm saying, a lot of yeah, we mean, stay on other campuses. I mean, stay on other campuses, but they still got somewhere to stay yeah. and act like yeah, but like spam like, and like, fam and shit. People got their own apartments and shit. You yeah, know what but I'm like saying? during my freshman year coming here, I would want to be on the main campus. Yeah, right. If I couldn't, I wouldn't come. On. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't, don't, don't want to catch the bus. Yeah, college, nigga, I'm not yeah, catching no bus. bus. Yeah, like, some the students gotta catch the bus because <laughs> it's not because yeah, it's forty five minutes away. The other yeah. campus touch shit, but yeah. at the schools you gotta pay your own bills mm -hmm. already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have your own apartment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna have to work. You know what I'm saying? And then you gonna have to go to class. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's all like. You might have to work two jobs. Mm -hmm. you, know, you might have to be doing 60 hours a week. Yeah. You feel me? Just to and, and put food on stuff, your table and the, you know what I'm saying? Keep your bill, the lights on. A lot of stuff running. is on YouTube, but it's like, you probably gonna look at like the surface level of videos so or the videos you like, like, oh, they don't remove the lights, so let me click on this. Click on a video you don't like, it's gonna show you some shit. You don't just go look at the home comments and the parties and shit, bro, because that's like the best time of the year. And everybody going to show that. Show, like, first day moving in, college updates, like, what's it like, all that stuff. Really that going to get it a real for real. Yeah. But don't go off somebody who haven't, because I ain't going to cap. It's some people, college going to be the best four years of their life. Mm -hmm. It's people who come in here and they live in the best moments of their life. Yeah. Promise to God. I know this is not the best moments of my life, but yeah. probably the worst. It's you know people, what I'm saying? Man, it's but it's, these is people like it's their best years, so it's gonna be people who tell you about their best years. You know what I'm saying? So that's people been here ten years, and they don't. And it's they, people and they who don't leave. leave not leaving. It be grown people strolling, like left, like they got a, a job, kids, and they at the parties talking to the freshmen. Like they just had a probate yesterday or something. Yeah, you right. feel me? Like they like they a part of the new. And you be like, you be like. And you ask you like, oh, is that dude a senior? Like, nah, he 28. <laughs> he 35. Like, what? <laughs> what do you mean he 28? Full beard. Sorry, the 18. Yeah, he got two kids. It's dudes out, man, it's people and her kids, and they still thugging it out. Like, yeah, I'm about to get this degree. You're like, dang, you got a kid, and you the same age as me? Like, it, and it's just what it is. It's real life. But man. everybody going on their own journey. They but at the same, journey. at some point in time, you look, and you be like, yeah, they don't want to leave. Yeah, some don't be that sign. guy. You know no, I mean? please, you gotta, you gotta get away, cause like we gotta get away from this campus, bro. Yeah, we got away from my hometown and jumped into another crab pot. It seemed like, cause it's just you know certain people don't want to see you good, do good. Like even like the people on the hall, they don't want to see you do good. Like man, it be like we all work out and stuff. And we productive and we clean. And people criticize us for that. Like dang, like one of our dudes in the hall was like. Hey, all y'all, y'all whole group work out, and y'all don't play no sports. Like, yeah, like, we want to look good for ourselves. Y'all just work out for the love of it. 
I'm like, yeah, like we trying to live. I ain't trying to die at 35. Arteries clogged up and shit. Was they yeah. It sounded like something. <laughs> and he, he was like, he was like, dang, he's like, I don't know if I could do that. But it's just like it's just like a mindset. You see yeah. people, people go to the gym, some people eat healthy. Some people are like, I can't live without McDonald's. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> but it's just it's just so what it is, cool. bro. But Man. Cause we don't talk about a lot of negatives, but everything a mindset. Yeah. Everything is a everything is perspective. Mm -hmm. You are who you hang around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And the thing is, the things that's easy to do, everybody gonna wanna do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. The smartest people be lazy people. Like the smartest people be hardworking lazy people. Yeah. Like somebody who truly want to make their life easier, they gonna make a way to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And that uh, but and the underlying nature of that like you are who you hang around, so you. With 10 rich people, you're going to be the 11. If you're around 10, bro, you're going to be the 11. If you're around 10 junkies, you're going to be the 11. So on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Mindset be everything. You know what I'm saying? So that's why if you, if a lot of negativity going on in your life, start looking at your friends. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And then um, another thing is, like, because we haven't talked about so much negative. I really just want, like, positive shit about the college experience, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to meet amazing people. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make lifelong friends if you're looking at, like, genuine friendship. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody who really want to be there for you. But y'all got to go through trials and tribulations for real. You know what I'm saying? We done almost lost our life together in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Numerous times. <laughs> you feel me? So, these my dogs, bro. bro. I done been driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> like, <laughs> and a semi. All the traffic. <laughs> like, you feel me? I'm talking <laughs> like the car's coming towards us, and me and Breezy just, like, got the seats, like, just kind of know where we going. <laughs> <laughs> like, and Kyle like, oh, I thought they was on the wrong side. Right, right. The thing that be so funny, this nigga be having the calmest response, bro. <laughs> bruh. He the, the calmest, calmest response. response. Like, Kyle just be I, chill. I'm like, good on the pressure, bro. I just be, I just be doing it. I'm so used to, like, man. so yeah, like, crazy. Oh, I thought that was the road. <laughs> man. Oh, man. So calm, man, KJ bro. tried some dumb shit. He didn't want to use the windshield wipers, and it was... Pouring rain, we could not see, see the road. I couldn't see the road. He like, bro, we good. Oh, no. lean back. I lean back. <laughs> and I'm in the front seat of the challenger. Like, I'm like, bro, I'm about to. Bro, I started. <laughs> I said, bro, if you don't hit the fucking, <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm gonna take the wheel, bro. He like, bro, bro. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna grab the seat. He move my hand. He like, bro, chill. Oh, I got it, bro. Cause it's like, bro, I could not see. I thought we was gonna die. Like, ain't be some times, bro. Nah, that nigga crazy. College, yeah, that nigga crazy, <laughs> that nigga, boy. I ain't know that. Yeah, yeah, for real, bro. I'm, oh my lord. First time really went to the party was with me, bro. And we, we that's had, on the, that was on the back row, wasn't back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the first party you had went to, and then we started going to like all the other ones and shit. Yeah, the hill. Yeah, taking uh video shits and shit. Huh? Like the little spin. Oh, oh, video, oh I'm yeah, yeah. video shits. What the? I said, oh, I'm oh, talking oh, like. like Malingo nah, be, nah, 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 nah. Malingo be so crazy, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> tight shit. I know what y'all saying, but yeah. nah, I ain't even like that. I'm talking about me. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I still got that video, um, though. Oh, yeah. With the camera going around. Yeah, yeah. And that bit posing. And shit so like that. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, but I'm talking about, like, the party's fun, bro. If, had all if you like the music on. and shit like that. Yeah. If you actually, like... I go to parties with my friends. I go to a party by myself, I'm gonna be bored. I don't go to parties by myself. Yeah. Like, I gotta be with a group of people who I know I'm gonna have a good time with. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? make sure you know you go to parties with people you gonna have a good time with. You know what I'm saying? For real. Don't go to a party if you second guessing, like, yeah. bro, I mean, unless it's new people that you trying to, like, yeah. build a connection with, but yeah. you, like, keep second guessing, like, bro, I don't even think yeah. I'm not. Designated really drivers, bro. Designated drivers is important. Oh, if you come together, you live together, together, bro. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we do not play by. We don't carry Kai out of the club blacked out, bro. Like the he talking about some lean on me like this in front of everybody. Like, bro, the room dark. I, I can't see nothing. And I'm like, what you mean you can't see nothing? And we don't have to carry. Hey, bro. Yeah, bro. Man, we don't have yeah. moments though, bro. Yeah. But we don't get that, you know what I'm saying, on the influence no more for real. Yeah. Like, we don't tone it all the way down. Because it's like, we don't been doing that for years, you know what I'm saying? You get tired of that yeah, at a certain yeah. point, you know what I'm saying? Like, it you gotta like, grow it. It ain't the same as freshman year for real. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, we don't all have our moments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't went through breakups and some old shit. Being broke, 
what checks saying? coming in. Yeah. No, no, blowing what? it, blowing it, blowing it, blowing it, bro. We got me and Breezy gonna spend some of this money on one day. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even like to talk about the store no more. But I'm gonna talk about. I know, I know you could, you could blow money fast, bro. Cause we done had a lot of money and blew it. Whatever fast. money y'all get from school, save, 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 it. save it, bro. You ain't got about no clothes, shoes. You man. don't. You really don't, bro. Man, spend money slow. Map out what you yes. what you need, yeah, not yeah. want. Need. Yes, essentials is a big thing. That's a a big part of adulting, bro. Essentials, yeah. bro. But dude, I ain't bought shoes in years, nigga. You learn this through trial and error, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna fuck up at the beginning. Mm -hmm. That is okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if you choose to take heed to what we saying, yeah, you're not gonna fuck up at all. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta discipline yourself and be consistent. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cause it's like. It's easy to fuck up. Money be burning a hole. Like, my pops always used to tell me all the time, money just burn a hole in your pocket. Because mm -hmm. I, if I made a dollar, I spent a dollar. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it was for me. I, any money I had, I always felt like it had to go. You know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> I never had that mindset. Like, Damn. Kaya, I just was just spending it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I, one I thing, never like heard that. said, bro. Cablo money is just a blow. But everybody in the family, <laughs> nobody can never say that, oh, like, no. Kyle broke. Cause it's like, you know, I'm a hustler. Yeah. So it's like, I spend a hundred dollars, make a hundred tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, that's what it was. Like that, I was just, you, you feel me? So that's just, crazy. You know what I'm saying? It, any dollar I made, I was yeah. spending it at a <laughs> But he stayed with some money cause he was spending some. I, so right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I stay with money. Cause I, I am the opposite, bro. Yeah. I stay with money and I'm a, I'm not going to spend. Like. I, I spend on like essentials and stuff and the people I care about. Like Christmas, I spend the most money. I got a thousand dollars spent and it ain't even Christmas yet. Yeah, same. Like, <laughs> the thing with me, I just, I'm just risky. I take risks. I spend money wise, I just take risks. See, I'm trying to, I'll be trying to get into that, but. I think man, it's just like a, because I'm such like a business minded person. I think that's yeah. just why like, I take hella risks. Yeah. I say, fuck it. I'm going to learn yeah. from it or I'm going to hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Breathe a risk taker, bro. Yeah. I, I ain't get... no daredevil, though. I ain't jumping yeah. on no. No, no we just talking about when it, when it with money. Money. Yeah. money. Yeah. Risk taker. Yeah, there you go. He he look at everything as an investment, bro. Yeah, for real. Bro. I'll be like, bro, you sure? Yeah, Breeze. <laughs> Breeze be shook. Breeze be shook. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. I don't know and then that give me all the kind of, I, do it, bro. You got it. I know if you got it. If y'all ever heard how Diddy G spend money, it's that nigga, bro. <laughs> DDG done said he spent his whole savings on a, a, a BMW i8 or some shit. Mm -hmm. And he told himself, like, fuck it, bro. I'm going to make it back yeah. off the YouTube video. Yeah, that's that's how out there. And that's, like, that's how Breezy that's how, yeah, yeah. But when DDG brought that i8, though, because that's like the light. Like, that's what Breezy do. He'll buy that bed. DDG posted that i8 for two months straight. Yeah. yeah. He made that money back. Wolf, so <laughs> he made yeah, that yeah, money yeah. back, bro. He was posting that. I remember watching the video. Yeah, I would have been. I would have been. Every time I drove that bitch, camera would have been looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting no fucks, bro. No <laughs> cap. <laughs> Cranking them, bro. You feel me? Gotta get paid, nigga. Because yeah. it's like. I finally see how a podcast episodes could get long. Because we picked the topic that was going to be simple. We thought it'd be going to be 30 minutes. Nigga, this shit long as fuck, yeah. bro. I and like normal conversation. Yeah. yeah. I hope y'all like it though. I really hope y'all like it. Y'all let us know what y'all thinking if y'all are truly enjoying this and give us suggestions, bro, because we can talk about we talk about a lot of stuff. No cap college is fun, especially if you don't care about relationships. Yeah. yeah. And make sure you go to a college where you like the area, the community, mm -hmm. with the sunsets and shit, the stores. Make sure the stores are in the proximity of where you like to go to, you feel me? If you an outdoor person, if it's by a beach or some shit, like shit like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Another important Why thing, important? it's not about how much you spend, it's about how much you have. Okay. It's about how much you keep. Oh yeah. Definitely. If you spend ten thousand, you don't got the ten k that yeah. you spent. Definitely. I'd rather say I had ten thousand, then I spent ten thousand. Cause you be like, oh damn, I bought all this designer, da 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 da, da 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 da. But saying, oh, I got ten k, mm -hmm. you said a little different. You get a little money in your pocket, you talk a little different, you walk a little different. You know what I'm saying? You don't be that hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got rejected, made some money, don't know what be rejecting me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just how life goes, bro. Especially like you're a like you a man, you're a hustler, bro. 
get some money in your pocket, you're gonna feel different, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, for real. It's truly about how much you keep because a lot of people, bro, they exalt a lot of things, bro. Because if you make a million dollars and spend 990K, you know, you only got 10K left, you're gonna be sad again. Like, dang, I had a million dollars. But if you all, you, you make a million, you only spend 100K. Oh, you spend 10K? Yeah. And you got 990k still. Come on, you got something you could do with it. You feel me? You still got a lot of blessings. 900k blessings. You feel me? So keep you could take care take care of your shit. If you don't know how to take care of your stuff, real life gonna be hard. Yeah. Cause take care of your car. But it's yourself. gonna teach you though. Yeah. You take care of your stuff. That's one of the most important things I could could can tell you, bro. Because yeah. if you gotta buy. If you buy a house and don't take care of it, bro, then you gotta buy another house. But if you buy one house and take care of that one house, bro, shit. I think that's gonna teach you the rest of your life. A bro. lot of about responsibility, not to cut you off, but this part is a car. You got, you know what I'm saying? You got insurance to pay monthly. Yes, yeah. Car note too. Car note too. That's if you ain't if you ain't paying full, car note gonna come monthly with the insurance. Yeah. You feel me? And Oil yeah. changes. Oil changes every 5k miles if you get in the all synthetic. Yeah. If not, it's every 3k mile. Yeah. You know, that's like 40 to 80 dollars a month depending on your budget. Yeah. Free game, go to Walmart. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Cars do not fix themselves. Cars do not fix themselves. They're me, not the human man, body. You, mining you car transmission a, blew up on the highway from New Orleans, bro. Wasn't yeah, gonna man. pay the fits that motherfucker either yeah, when they told us price. Yeah, on bro. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, Get a new car. I mean, blew up. Like, you feel me? Man, we was smoking. We thought we were gonna die. On the, <laughs> and like, we was stuck on the bridge, bro. Like, <laughs> and man, and a tow truck, this random tow truck nigga came and helped us, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's just a life. You yeah. know what I'm saying, bro? But it's like, nigga, cars don't fit themselves. You get yeah. sick. Your body gonna fight. You got white blood cells, yeah. medicine, all that other shit. Car not gonna fix itself. Car not gonna take. That transmission go out. Yeah. Mechanic gonna be looking at you. You got that check, little bro? <laughs> yeah. Okay, bro. we can talk a little money, cause money talk, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But dang. So yeah. yeah. That check engine light don't tell you. It, it tell you check the engine light. It don't tell you what's wrong with this shit, bro. Oh, and we not telling y'all not to party, cause my guy says K party. She was one of the people at every party, but straight A's. Yeah, for real. What is it, Madam Kulade? I done seen people walk out of party 4 a.m. slappy drunk and beat yeah. me to class. That's possible. And you, uh -huh. you just gotta have. So if you're gonna go out the, but that's responsibility. Like, so she have, she's responsible of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, we a different breed as well. We done we been. We did that. Like, yeah, we done time. been under or above the influence, woke up, did a morning workout, shower, in class. Like, <laughs> like how many times we done came at five, six in the morning? You know what I'm saying? Being class, here, class being at seven in the morning. So far, so yeah. After party, we'll go. Man, yeah, Walmart. Thirty minutes to an hour to Waffle House. Yes. Come back five, six in Walmart the morning. Walmart is that an hour away. Party, like, one or two hours. And then like sometimes we don't want to go home. We go all the way to Hasbury. We come back. Like twelve. It's like three hour drive, so mm -hmm. we get back three. But we don't got Krispy Kreme and shit. And that, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to buy donuts and shit. You feel me? So. Yeah, yeah, cause we ain't got we don't got canes and shit nowhere nearby. Yeah. So I be when we go to like Hattiesburg or whatever, I'm going to get canes of Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Bro, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? We be coming back early morning sometime. You yeah. feel me? So make sure you in class. Make sure your work done mm -hmm. for real. Cause don't you paying to go to school? This ain't it ain't free no more. Yeah. If you went to private school growing up, I mean you been paying your whole life. Mm -hmm. I think that's what a lot of students here forget. They yeah. paying. Yeah. Like it's coming out your pocket. Like it, either either the your scholarship's paying it or some way, shape, or form, bro. Cause yeah. if your scholarship's paying for it and you got bad grades, they gonna stop paying for it. Yeah. And it's gonna hit your pocket fast, nigga. Like so you pay them to go to school in college. College not free. It's not free. It's it's not free. It's not free. Even if you got scholarships or it's all paid for, yeah, it's all paid, paid for. for. But let them grades drop or you not do what you supposed to do. Somebody gonna get on your ass. You have a GPA average that you supposed to be keeping. Yeah. It ain't gonna yeah, it ain't gonna be free. They're gonna be asking for that payment. Yeah. Or they're gonna be saying you can go back home. Yeah. But no degree. Y'all let us know what y'all think. Y'all know what it is. The merch should be dropping soon. We hope y'all enjoy this. 
Uh, y'all fucked with the, the first episode, and that was from a year ago, so uh, we hope y'all enjoyed it. We're going to try to get guests and shit on here. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. But. And y'all can give us topics or a time frame that y'all would like for these videos to be consistent of, I guess. I was just thinking Thursdays, bro. Yeah. Okay. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday we can do a podcast. Yeah. Give us some topics. Let us know if y'all enjoy this. Uh suggest us and please comment and you feel me? You ain't gotta watch the whole thing. You can watch ten minutes and just let us know what y'all think. So uh, we, we appreciate y'all. Yeah. I think the conversation I think was so do. goddamn wild. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we really gonna need time stamps around. I don't know how to do it. But yeah, he needs, I think you should I, do it by yourself. But yeah. yeah. Um one thing I really want to try to take away from this is we is not trying to bash college, bro. Yeah, I know, cause we we giving y'all like, like a y'all need to go watch somebody who living their best four years of college. Somebody yeah, who in a frat of you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, frats, they, they, they live their best life. You yeah. feel me? You feel me? Um, athlete. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Through the athlete. Nigga, I had an NIL deal. I'll be living my best life too. You feel me? Nigga? Hey, man. Yeah. 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 You feel me? No but stress. it's some people living their best life, huh? And that, if you trying to live your best life in college, mm -hmm. go look at somebody else who's living their best life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But those going to be the best four years of your life, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because college ain't forever. Yeah. And that's one thing you need to remember. But really, bro? I want to no, 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 I'm good, bro. <laughs> I already said what I need to say. Yeah, he done. Bro, I'm I'm good. Really, bro? Y'all come down to what school you should. And if you save your money up. Mm -hmm. And decisions, you what well, your mindset? Yeah, that's it. And hang around like minded individuals. Yeah, be yourself. I don't care what what you do or whatever it is, just be yourself. That's the easiest thing to be, and people gonna judge you regardless in life. So it's nothing easier to be than to be yourself. Yeah, I think people like find themselves two times. So high school is the first time. Right. High school is the first time people find themselves like for people who. <clears throat> Had more independence already, or more freedom, or was raising themselves. As when you find yourself in high school, you find you find yourself forever. You know what I'm saying? But when you people who come to college who get that freedom from their parents, they hours away from home, they find themselves here. So they be different than how they was in high school. You know what I'm saying? You could say that's growth or whatever bullshit that's you want to so say, true, but it's really just that they got that independence for the first time. So now they finally. Finding out who they is, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and they finding out who they like to be around and shit. Like, you gonna find out who he is. You gonna find, find out who you is. Two fine shits once you come to their room, and nobody can tell you no. Bird control. You gonna find out. You gonna find no out. No cap on. Um, Drinks free. You gonna find out who he is, bro. <laughs> Focus on yourself that. in this shit for real. Yo. These people, that, women and men, they'll tell you what they what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And I'm telling you, people be faithful and they get done the worst way possible. Go slow. Go slow That's with falling in love with finding what you love to do, your passions, your purpose. Go slow. Mm -hmm. Don't rush into nothing. And make everything clear with anybody, your intentions or anything. Like be honest. With business <laughs> deals you want to get done, with ambassador shit you want to do, with people you want to help out, with orgs you want to be a part of, make your intentions clear you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying if you just want to you know what I'm saying make that intention clear too like with anything you do just you feel me just make your intentions clear you know what I'm so, saying okay. nobody should be confused by nothing uh, we ain't mean to be long with it but we hope y'all catch our drill and we thank y'all we thank God most well. we truly do thank y'all bro we never thought this channel would be what it is so yes, it's true yes, y'all truly a blessing bro we appreciate y'all and everybody who take the time out of the day to watch us so uh, we thank y'all, we thank y'all most importantly, we appreciate y'all praying to understand that. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You feel me, man? Thank y'all for taking the time out there to watch us once again, man. Praise y'all, we all there every day. And with that being said, oh, and if y'all didn't get everything that y'all wanted to get out of this video, we could always do a part two. Hell yeah. Just yeah. make us go back on topics that, because, bro, I, we skimmed over so much. Well, we went over so much, and we not trying to... And another the, three hours. Right, and the thing is, we ain't even getting the detail for real. So, yeah. but with that being said, yes, sir. Peace and love. We gone. Hood, man.